You are funny, no man. Yes, you are. You are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he saw the height again. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> but it should, this, this whole process should help him with this fear of heights. Oh, really? Because he's having a fun time. Yeah. And he's up high, you know, so it, it, it lessens the association that being high is scary. Yeah. Okay. It's a fun place, he's playing, he's getting all this interaction. That's good. Mm. He's ready. Oh, he yeah. doesn't know it's coming. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe he'll say, yeah, but you never know. Mm. You know what's going on? Oh, so. There you go, what was that? Okay, okay. What was that, little man? Barely noticed, did you? Barely noticed. There you go. <laughs> yeah. As long as you get a chance to bite a chin, it's a good <laughs> day, isn't it, hey? Oh, but then it gets a bit itchy. And it's, it's not uncommon for the vaccine to be a little bit itchy for about three or four minutes. Okay. We can just gently rub it like that to help him with that. And then distract him with yummy things. Because he's such a young age, should we sh um, give, still give him like puppy milk? Yeah. 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 Okay. There you go, what's that? Hey little man. What's that? Oh. Yeah, oh. no, he's actually, that's interesting. He's, he may have some neurological issues. Oh, oh. What are you doing? You're rubbing <laughs> yourself on that. Because um, what I'm seeing there, yeah. just for a moment, as, he's, as he was sniffing, yeah. he was actually dotting backwards and forwards, and that's uh -huh. called an intention tremor. So yeah, it's, it's possible he may have some, some neurological issues, yeah. but because he's so young, you wouldn't worry about them now, yeah. because there's a very good chance he'll grow out of them. Okay, uh, yeah, hopefully. Often what it is is just the fact that his nerves aren't um, myelinated fully yet. I don't know, did myelination mean anything to you? No, not really. Um, Nerves, because because of the way nerves work, it's quite it's quite amazing that we yeah. work at all, really. To be honest, <laughs> there's 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 like a, a little double wave that runs down a nerve fibre, yep. sending the impulse from the start of the nerve to the end where it joins onto either another nerve or a muscle, yep. and, and and sends that impulse to make the muscle contract or or, or whatever that nerve is sending a mm -hmm. message to do, and that that wave doesn't go very quick, oh. um, and. So for, for these long nerves, you know, the nerves that run from your, from your brain, brain to your big toe, it's a long distance yeah. that that wave's got to carry. Yeah. And if it wasn't for these myelin bundles, and what they are is it's, it's, it's like, a, like a wrap around the nerve. It's, it's like this, and then there's another one, and then there's another yeah, one, yeah. and then there's another one. And it means that this, what they call the action potential, the wave going down the nerve, when it gets to one of these bundles, it actually jumps. And so instead of going, it, 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 it leaps. And so they're basically, they're like an accelerator yeah. where you've got myelin bundles, n nerve propagation goes way faster. Yeah. And that allows us to know immediately when, when a sensation happens and react immediately yeah. if it's, you know, and so forth. Um, but when you're a little puppy, a lot of these nerves aren't yet Active. myelinated. Mm -hmm. and, and basically the body starts to myelinate these nerves that are being used a lot. And you know, it's, it's kind of like caching in computers. The data yeah. that you've got to use a lot, you, you make sure you've got faster access to yeah, it. Yeah. And the body does the same thing. And that's why a lot of these sorts of tremors you see in very young puppies resolve as they grow. Yep. Because yeah, those long nerves that depend on having fast feedback for everything to work properly, yep. get myelinated and get accelerated. Yeah. Okay. So you liked all of that, didn't you? Hey? <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? <clears throat> all right, so that's his vaccine. Yep. We could microchip him today if you want. Yep. It is a big needle and he probably yeah. will cry. <laughs> yeah. Um, so oh. we, 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 I mean, he, he'll cry for a moment and he'll be over it. But the alternative is to wait until we sterilise him and do it when he's asleep for his sterilisation. Oh, okay, yeah. And then there's, there, there's less issue with... Um, so we're doing next time. Yeah, yeah I, when he desects him. Yeah, when, 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 yeah when, he, when, he, when he has his procedure to yeah. <coughs> sterilise him. When can we, we desect him? Six months? Yes, I, I, I think around six months is a good age. Yeah, yeah you, can, you, can, you can do it today. But oh. Like, it's, uh, I, 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 it's, not, it's not in his interest. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, like RSPCA and people like that do it at this, this age. And oh, okay. oh, you're still trying to find the last <laughs> of the crumbs, aren't you? He's <laughs> been pushing my hand yeah. out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
Oh, <laughs> oh, come, on. come on. You are determined. Yes. No, I, don't, I don't think you've got a tummy upset. Oi. Come My on. My goodness. Okay. You're a funny little guy. Yeah. You are. That's what you're looking for. That's what you want. That little bit there. There you go. There you go. Here it is. No. <laughs> Good boy. Oops. Um, the, the, the <laughs> that's enough. Come on. That's enough. That's yeah. why he's a bit overweight. <laughs> yes. But you like your tucker, don't you? Oop. Yes, you do. Your little chubba booty. <laughs> um, probably one of the, the best things you can get him started on at this point is uh, Revolution, mm -hmm. which controls fleas, yep. controls mange mites, uh, and controls heartworm. Okay. Um, and it's well tolerated by little puppies. Okay. So, is it uh, like little tablets? Or? No, it's a drop on the back of the neck. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, and even if we shower him, it'll yeah. be fine. Yeah, no, in the first like half hour or something, it soaks into the skin and then it distributes all around the skin. Okay, so, yeah. you, you, you know, within a couple of hours or so, you can wash him, no problems. Okay, perfect. Okay. So, yeah, we've, we've got a puppy 2.6 to 5 kilo, that's the one. Yep. <coughs> Oh, that's right, and, 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 the, and the packets include uh, Canix gastrointestinal wormers as well, so that takes care of everything in okay. that respect. So the worms and everything. Yeah. yeah. Great. So he should come back in four weeks for his first full vaccination. Mm -hmm. This is basically a temporary vaccination okay, yeah. to get him through this, this critical period. Yeah. Um, and you should try and introduce him to as many different people and different dogs, so long as they're vaccinated dogs, okay. of course, okay, yeah, yeah. as you can. Because during this... this baby window he'll accept things so much better and even things that can potentially be quite frightening to a dog yep. he's kind of to a certain extent immune to being particularly frightened by stuff yep. obviously if he had a really awful experience he's still gonna remember it as an awful experience yep. but a lot of other things that you know if he was a year and six weeks old he'll see something completely new and strange and go whoa stranger danger don't like yeah. and be really upset Whereas if he sees this stuff now, he'll go, oh, that's interesting. And, it, and if you're with him yeah, and, and, and everything's cool and he's getting pats and everything, he'll be, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, you know, introduce him to different looking people. You get this, this classic thing that dogs that are brought up with one particular race group, that yeah. if, if they see, uh, you know, like a different race. Yeah, it's a completely different looking mm. person uh, uh, well out of this three month socialization period they just freak out oh, okay um so yeah introduce him to all the different people take him in cars on boats if you're if you're likely to yeah. want to take him on a boat in the future do all the things that he's likely to encounter later in life now yeah and and yeah he's much better can equipped. you go to the beach yet not yet not really no yeah, yeah the, the the main thing you want to avoid is is busy public dog areas okay you could take him to a beach but not a dog beach Okay. Oh, and then, yeah. yeah, you know, you, you secretly take him yeah. down to a normal beach sort of thing and <laughs> clean up any poo he did really quickly because <laughs> you're not supposed oh, to. Not yet. Um, not but yeah, you know, like taking him to, to your local coffee shop and, and having a cuppa and let all the people come up and go, oh, how cute, and, and pat him and everything. And that's great for him to see all these different looking people yeah. and learn that they're wonderful. They're, they're nice and they pat him. Mm. He will love it. Yeah. He will love it. He loves attention. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. I think we'll, yeah, we'll do the uh, microchip later. Yeah. So he doesn't feel it. Yeah. We, our cat we, didn't feel it. it. Our cat was just like, yeah. done. Look, I would say probably three out of five times puppies don't feel it. Okay. But yeah, they, they, they the do. two times that they do, the last thing we want is for him to think that coming here is a scary, horrible yeah, thing. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> really important for me that our, our, our patients like coming here. Mm -hmm. So many vet clinics here, the dogs are just scared to hell and it's yeah. no good. Oh, he's falling asleep. Okay, let's yeah. go. Okay. <laughs> All right, not That's yet. That's a good sign. <laughs>
see earlier, I tucked Charlie in to sleep and now he's sleeping in this position. He always sleeps in a weird position. Anyways, just want to show you guys a quick um, thing, few things that we got from the vet today. So first things first, the vet gave us a free packet of dog treats. Because Charlie was so cute. <laughs> and we bought this, it was about 100 bucks. It protects him from a few different types of fleas, flea eggs, heartworms, ear mites, and lices and stuff. It comes in six packets, um, six tubes of 0.25 ml. So it's just like that. That's three, that's another three. And with that, uh, sorry, there's some information on how to put them on. With that, it also comes at the back with this, um, pretty sure this is for, oh, tablets. So these are tablets for heartworms and stuff. Alright, I gotta read through that. I'm not really sure about that. But after the visit, we got a dog health health and vaccination record. So yeah, it's Charlie's name, his date of birth, sex, colour. The vet was like, oh, he's not really tan. He got like tricolour, mostly tan. So he's a Jack Russell Cross and Ona Celine B. So that's the address of the vet. They are so good. Their service is so good. Um, with today, he wrote down that Charlie might have some mild neuro trembling. So he reckons that Charlie has a bit of a. Because I, I mentioned to the vet about Charlie's shaking, and it's a possibility that he might have this neuro trembling, but. The vet also said that it could be a good possibility for him to grow out of it as he matures because when they're young, their muscles and joints are quite weak. So as he grows up, he should be able to learn how to control that. So hopefully. And um, so that's with all the records. So every time we go, we'll just bring this tablet and can attach a photo. I might attach Charlie's photo. And that's the contact number. They also do home visits, six day service by appointments for any animals, behavior consultant, general disease investigation. Yeah, they're really good. The vet really cares about your animal and making sure that their visit to the vet makes them feel safe and secure. And he really takes your time. He really takes the time to come and take care of you and look after your your precious one and yeah I really liked him so there you go bye Charlie and that's called an intention tremor so yeah it's, it's possible he may have some 